Okay. So, let us start with the F0 modeling. So, if you see what kind of information if you uh, F0 is carrying in many language the pattern temporal change in F0 is phonemic which is called tonal language. If you see the tone variation of tone can change the meaning. Uh, so, tonal languages. So, temporal variation of F0 can change the meaning of the words. Similarly, if I say the trace, main parameter for defining trace is F0. If I say emphasize word, that means if you found that I have increased the F0 there. So, change of F0 define the tone, define whether that words is emphasized or not and also in case of English if you see there is a contrastive trace language. So, it trace depends on the context. So, if I put arbitrary trace in the words then I can say that my pronunciation of English is not native like. The problem in here also suppose I am uh, in Bengali on Indian language most of the Indian languages are bound trace language. That means, the trace is defined at the beginning syllable of every prosodic word, not linguistics word, not in the, you can say the uh, written word. For every prosodic word beginning, trace is defined. That is why it is called bound trace language, but English is contrastive trace language. So, you can say the F0 is convey the linguistic information also like the tone, it can be phonemic also. So, that means, variation of the tone change the word meaning. Okay. Then, F0 is convey the prosodic meaning of the sentence. If I put the trace in different location, the meaning may be changed. Okay. The old man and woman. If I say the old man and woman, the old man and woman, then I say the man is old, but woman is not. But if I say the old man and woman, then man and woman both are old. So, F0 linguistic information is carrying, not only linguistic information, F0 also carry the paralinguistic information and non-linguistic information. Paralinguistic information and non-linguistic information also convey by F0. If it is male speaker, you know whether I am male or female speaker that depends on the variation of the F0. If it is male speaker, you know the average F0 cannot goes uh, 200 uh, uh, after one, 180 hertz, but if it is female speaker, it is started from 200 hertz, it can goes up to 300 hertz. If it is child speech, you can say that it start can started as 250 hertz and goes to 350 hertz. Okay. So, age, all kinds of non-linguistic information and paralinguistic information all are carried by F0, attitude, emotion and then speaking style all can be found in F0 modeling. So, if you see there is a lot of F0 modeling and it, uh, you see that these slides are taken from the Fujisaki F0 modeling. So, that is why copyright Fujisaki is given. So, three ap uh, approaches of desc uh, description and representation of F0 contour. So, I can uh, what I said in uh, beginning that uh, for an utterance has an F0 movement. So, there is a F0 movement. So, this movement of the F0 can be modeled by three things. One is called labeling which is called Toby, stylization and modeling. So, I can model generate some model which can generate this contour or I can say I can uh, I can assign some label. So, it is a rising then I can say flat then I can say falling F. So, rising flat falling sharp rising uh, slow slow rising slow falling sharp falling all kinds of label I can assign and I can model that. F0 things that is called Toby model. Okay. Similarly, I can do some stylization means I can linearly approximate this F0 contour. 
So, I can say whole f 0 contour is nothing but a sum of some linear line within this line f 0 is fixed. Okay. So, this is called piecewise linear approximation or I can generate a mathematical model by which changing the parameter I can generate this contour which is called Fujisaki command response model which we will discuss details. So, whole sentence f 0 can be modeled using three model one is called Toby stylization and model. So, Toby is nothing but a assigning some level on f 0 it may be in syllable it may be uh, let us syllable wise. So, I can say this is rising this is flat this is falling then I can define the pattern of rising it is sharp rising it is flat rising. So, those kind of things is used in Toby model. Okay. Then stylization I can approximate whole f 0 contour is some set of linear line or linear segment then I can say the, I can model that things that is called stylization or I can generate some mathematical model and based uh, or that model has a some parameter and I can vary those parameter to generate this f 0 contour that is called generation process Fujisaki generation process model. So, we will discuss details on generation process model. Okay. So, this is called Fujisaki generation process f 0 contour uh, modeling that if you remember we have said f 0 has a two kinds of variation one is called local variation another one is called global variation. If you see here the green line is the global variation and red line are local variation. So, the local variation are con called accent and global variation are called phase. So, that is why you call it is command response model which is controlled by the phase control and action control mechanism. So, one is control the phase command, phase command control the phase part, action command control the action part and there is a baseline and Fujisaki model mathematical model is this. So, you let us try to derive this mathematical model as per at, uh, or I can describe this model as per the Fujisaki, uh, uh, Fujisaki papers. Okay, this will come later on. So, if you see that what is uh, how this or vocal cords are there, so are the section of vocal cords. So, vocal cords are here, here there is a vocal cords and if you if you remember that vocal cords are closed in one end and open in one end, this is closing and opening, closing and opening and this is housed on a some muscle that muscle control the closing and opening. Okay. So, those are the muscle structures. Now, if you see this muscle, this this the vocal cord housed in a some muscle structure or the some bone and then muscle control bone structures where it can move. So, that muscles can move that bone and that can change the tension of the vocal cords and that create different F 0. So, details I will describe that create different F 0. So, let us first see stress strain relationship of skeleton muscles that is already studied and that uh, the relationship is there. So, this is called physical property of skeleton muscle. The muscles which is how the, the, the bone which is housed the vocal cords are connected by muscles or you can say housed by muscles and those muscles has a property that properties skeletal muscles properties okay? that is already studied. Then physical properties of skeletal muscle the how it is varies. If you see this first graph x axis is tension, y axis is incremental tension d t by d x. So, d t by d x is equal to b into t plus a, t is a tension, b and a are constant. So, I can say d t by d x 
is equal to b into t plus a. Okay, incremental tension d t by d x that is the relationship. Okay, a and b are constant. Then muscle elongation and tension t. So, I can say how much muscle has to be elongated to produce certain tension that is required. So, that is the relationship. So, the elongation is x and tension is t and relationship is t is equal to a into e to the power b x minus 1, a into e to the power b x minus 1. So, elongation if I elongate the muscles how much tension will be created that depends on this equation. If I increase the incremental tension d t by d x is equal to b into t plus a. Okay. Now, from there stress and resistance skeletal muscle. So, d t by d x is equal to b into t plus a. Now, if I integrate both side, so what will get? I will get t is equal to t 0 sorry t is equal. So, if I so I can say d t by d x is equal to b into t plus a, where t is the tension or I can say x instead of x I can put l, l is the length of the vocal x, t is the tension and a is the stiffness at t equal to 0. Okay. Then it relationship is d t by d l is equal to b into t plus a. So, b is a constant a is a stiffness at a is the stiffness at t equal to 0 and t is the tension l is the length length of the vocal x. Now, if I integrate both side what I will get I get t is equal to t 0 plus a by b into e to the power b into l minus l 0 minus a by b. Okay. If I integrate both side, now t is equal to I can say t 0, what is t 0? Static tension, what is l 0? Static, uh, static length and so t is equal to t 0. So, at, at, at t equal to t 0, the l is equal to l 0. So, I can say t 0 or at uh, static tension is t 0. Okay. So, at t 0 static tension is t 0, then I can say l minus l 0, l minus l 0 is nothing but a change of length which I can define as x. Okay. So, I can say t 0 plus a by b e to the power b x minus a by b. Okay. Now, if a by b is much much less than t 0, then I can say t is equal to t 0 e to the power b x, t 0 e to the power b x which is there in here which is equation 3. Okay. Now, if it is t 0 e to the power b x, then frequency of vibration of elastic membrane f 0 is depends on c 0 into t by sigma to the power half, where sigma is the density per unit area, unit area, density per unit area. This is the relationship between the the elastic membrane vibration, membrane vibration. Now, if I take log, log E of F 0 is nothing but a log E of C 0 into T by sigma to the power half. Okay. Now, I put the value of T, which is T is equal to T 0 e to the power B x log E
I can say log e c 0 t 0 by t 0 by sigma is one term to the power half is one term and e to the power b x and log e that is plus log e e to the power b x. So, I can say log e c 0 t 0 by sigma to the power half plus log e b x. So, I can say uh, and uh, b, uh, b, uh, log e b x uh, to the power half. So, half will be there. So, it will half b x. Okay. So, now if you see I can say c 0 t 0 by sigma to the power half is nothing but a constant. So, I can say let us it is defined as a b. So, if it is f b then I can say log of E f 0 is nothing but a log of f b plus half of b x. Okay. So, x is nothing but a l minus l 0. Okay. Now, if it is half of b x, so if x is time dependent, I can write it is x t. So, I can say that f 0 contour or log f 0 contour when plotted in logarithmic scale as a function of time can be expressed as the sum of constant baseline, this is a constant and term and time varying term. A time varying term which will be changed and a constant baseline. So, if you see here this is the baseline constant baseline f b and then the time varying term which is half of b x t. So, how this time varying term is generated? How this time varying term is generated? This time varying term is generated due to the muscle movement or due to the movement when the vocal cord is vocal cord is housed in a muscle cage or you can say bone cage which is connected by a muscle and that movement is defined it x t. What kind of movement it is? It is a two kind of movement. One is called rotation around the cricoid joint due to the so if I just see this this is this, this is this kind of housing is there. So, there is a two kind of movement one is rotation another is translation rotation and translation. So, if you see in here vocal cords has a two kind of movement one is translation and that can change the uh, change the x l minus l 0 and one is rotation. So, suppose I have sketched a uh, rope in here, if I uh, this end if I rotate the tension on the rope will be increases okay. or if I translate it then also tension will be increases. So, these two kind of movement increase the tension and once it is increase the tension that change the tension change the f 0 that change the f 0 control that is x t part time dependent part. So, this kind of rotation and translatory movement it change the fundamental frequency. If you see somebody can say a man is mimicking the female voice, how he does it? Because his vocal cords uh, mass, uh, mass and less tension are there. So, uh, once he talk normally his f 0 may be in around 100 hertz or 120 hertz, but when in mimicking he can change it to somewhere else female voice. So, how he does it? By moving this by practicing this type of movement rotation and translation movement he practice it and he can change the f 0 to that scale. Anyhow we can change our f 0 movement is there sa to sa is one octave movement is not natural. If my base f 0 is 80 hertz I can change up to 160 hertz because that is practice when you are singing. When I am singing what you are doing we are practicing the movement of the f 0. So, you are actually a rotation and translation are practiced how much movement and 
this rotation and translation can change the f0 then how this will be used in prosody or uh, how this will be used in continuous movement of the f0 is an important factor so how it is used if you if you see that rotation is provide a component which is x2t and translation is provide a component x1t so total change is x1t plus x2t which is in log f0 contour so this will be additive in log f0 contour so x1t and x2t is added and that change the log f0 it is additive now if i say this relation with that language so if it is the phasing and accentuation so there is a local variation and there is a global variation so if i say the global variation is phasination and local variation is accentuation accent local accent so then i can say accent is controlled by rotation of thyroid muscle and phasing is controlled by translation so translation mechanism control the global variation so translation effect is time if it is xt so translation will change the f0 in roughly change the f0 and rotation will change the local variation so global variation plus local variation in logarithmic f0 it is a superposition but in, uh, in uh, if it is non logarithm then it is a multiplication so the superposition so they are superposed superimposed with normal f0 with the local the accent component and phase component okay so that way human uh, we are changing the f0 so translation and rotation details are is there so you can see this is this kind of system so this there is a membrane so it can rotate if ct is this this is constricted if this portion is constricted ct is constricted and then i can say it is rotatory movement and if this portion is strength then it is a translatory movement so if i say this is my membrane i am not drawing it correctly so this is the let's this is my things so if i move it like this way then it is rotation so if i move it let's this position then i can say this angle is nothing but a theta so this is rotation now if i translate it then it is l plus x if i move this direction then it is l plus x so l is the length of the vocalic x is the extension of uh, elongation of vocalic theta is the angular displacement of the thyroid so if i do the angular displacement there also will be a length change if i do the translation there also will be a change of length and that is l minus l0 which is produced by which is represented by xt and this xt is summation of these two change in logarithmic domain one is rotation another is translation okay and this rotation and translations are nothing but a spring mass movement so if it is a spring mass movement there is a second order differential equation if you remember that spring mass movement of a body mechanical vibrations spring mass movement if you remember that m s and r so you know that d2 m into d2 x by dt square plus r into dx dt plus sx is equal to force the force which is applied okay so i can say i x is in term of theta d2 theta by dt square plus r into d theta by dt k into theta k is the stiffness r is the mechanical resistance and i is the mass mass of the muscle so mechanical resistance mass and stiffness then i can find out the relationship the the, uh, the movement variation of theta so I, uh, if i solve this second order equation so it is nothing but exponential solution so it is nothing but exponential solution so i can say theta t which can be expressed as a constant multiplied by a exponential curve which is represented by minima of 1 minus 1 plus beta t e to the power minus beta t or gamma 
So, this is experimentally verified and find out by Professor Fujisaki and he, uh, he can he find out the value for beta and gamma for Japanese language and we have verified it for uh, Beng Bangla language then beta and gamma is working fine. Okay. So, if rotation give me the action component then I can say G A T represent the action component with a multiply by a constant which actually contain the amplitude of the that component. So, if I see that the rotation angle theta t is varying like this, elongation will be delayed, then logarithmic f 0 also will be like varying like this. So, if you see in uh, action component, so suppose this is the global component in the action component, it will vary like this. So, even if I apply the command in here, it will be take time to reach the up and again it will be going down because of elasticity. Then again if I apply a command in here, it will be again up somewhere else because it requires some rising time. Okay? So, this is Professor Fujisaki's uh, slide I have taken. Then you can say the translation also same equation, differential equation and translation is defined by GPT. So, you can say the total equation is like this, where you can say i equal to 1 to capital I, what is this? This capital I is nothing but a number of phrase command. So, suppose I have a sentence, I can say this here, this is the Bengali sentence. If you see this dotted line are original F0 extracted from the F0 speech. So, this is aligned, actually this F0 contour is aligned with the original speech of Bangla sentence, one Bangla sentence is there. If you see the Bengali sentence are written. Now, if you see that black dots are original, red one, if you see the red one are generated F0 contour okay, and blue ones are the phrase command. Blue one is the phrase command. And this action command is created uh, after the phrase command is placed, then the action command is put, this red line is generated. If you see the red line almost follow the black dot s. So, it is almost possible to model the f 0 contour using this phrase command and action command. So, if you see there is a number of phase, so here I represent the number of phase. So, I equal to 1 to capital I. So, if there is a 3 phase in here, if you see how many phases are there? 1, 2, 3. So, 3 phases are there uh, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Last one is negative phase, uh, amplitude is negative. So, it will be negative direction. So, 3 phases are there 1, to, uh, sorry 4, 1, 2, 4. A, P, I are the amplitude of the phase command and this is the variation. Then action command a j equal to 1 to capital J, number of action command, how many number of actions command are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, there may be a 7 action command and a, a, a this is nothing but a action command amplitude. Now, if you see this one, the red line is completely follow the green line, uh, dotted line. So, I can say it is possible to completely generate the original F0 contour using this phase command and action command. Okay. Let us today I stop here, to, uh, this lecture I stop here and tomorrow I will I will show, I will play this voice sound. So, let us I arrange this voice playing of the voice sound, I will show you how close this original speech and synthesized speech. Okay. Thank you.